Hi, this is Presh Talaker. Let's discuss why group texts are annoying from a mathematical perspective. Imagine you want to invite three friends for dinner. You'll need to communicate the details to each person in the group. You could send individual texts, in which case you would send a text to each person and each person would reply to you. This is a total of six text messages sent within the group. An alternate way you could organize the dinner is by sending a group text. In this case, your message would go to each person in the group, and then the first person to reply would reply to each person in the group, the next person would then reply to each person, and the last person would then reply to each person. So since everyone's sending a message to each person, that's 12 messages. And this is why group texts are annoying, because they're more text to communicate the same information. In general, in general, we can imagine inviting n friends. We can index this as a set of 0 to n friends. If you were to organize it by individual text, then we can count the number of texts. Person 0 would send text to each person in the group, and each of those people would respond with a message back to 0. This is a total of 2 n texts that are sent within the group. If you organize it as a group text, then person 0 would send a group text which goes to each person in the group, the first person would reply to each person in the group, and so on, so that each person in the group is replying. Since there are n plus 1 people sending n messages, that means there are a total of n squared plus n texts that are sent within the group. We can graph out how much more messages are needed for the group text. If you send individual text, you would need 6, 8, 10, or 12 messages between 3 to 6 friends. The extra number of texts required for group text are 6 for 3, 12 for 4, 20 for 5, and a whopping 30 extra texts if you have a group of 6. So if group text needs so many more text messages, why do people use it? One answer is game theory. When you use individual text, it requires one person being the initiator to send out those initial n messages. In a group text, that one person would just send out one group message. The other advantage is the group text gives you group common knowledge. In general, the groups are better off if someone organizes the event, but no one wants to do that extra work. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe to my channel. You can support me on Patreon. Catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions on Twitter at Presh Talwalker, and you can get my books on Amazon.